Sega. My name is Craig Duncan, I'm the development director at Sumo Digital, the team behind Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing. Um, Sega and Sumo obviously had a great relationship developing uh, Sega Superstars Tennis, which was um, a tennis game based on uh, Sega IP. Really, we were looking at how we extended that franchise, and given Sumo's got a vast uh, pedigree and, and ton of experience doing racing games, to take those famous Sega and Sonic IPs that you know, we were very fond of as a developer and to put that into a racing franchise. Uh, we bounced around some ideas, you know, talked to Sega about that. Sega really, really liked the concept and then between us uh, spent the next few months really fleshing it out and uh, coming up with something that we all loved. Obviously, you know, dealing with IPs that have heritage is, is always complicated because you, know, you, you really need to do those IPs justice and you need to understand the franchise, you need to understand the IPs, what those characters do, what worlds they live in. Um, and you know, it was easy for us as developers because we all grew up playing those games through you know, Mega, Drive, Mega Drive and Saturn and Dreamcast. And it, you know, to treat those IPs with respect and make sure that everything we do around them is right and fits in with the world. Um, I mean, that was complex. Probably the most complicated thing is, if you imagine most games have one style, one IP, one world, we have several, and I can't tell you exactly how many without giving away the number of characters and worlds, but, you know, and to get a cohesive art style and a cohesive feel to the game with all these different characters from all different worlds and all different settings all in one game uh, was a real challenge, and I think we've, we've really nailed that. And maintain that Sega game feel. I think my personal favourite character is probably Big the Cat. Uh, I, I just think he's very awesome, very, um, very comical in his nature, given he has a you know, really small motorcycle that he drives, uh, and his all-star move is very, very funny, again, without giving the game away on that. Um, Favourite environment, that's, that's a tricky one. Um, I think my personal favourite is one of the ones we haven't announced yet. Um, I think outside of that, probably the Billy Hatcher, um, pro probably Dino Mountain, Billy Hatcher, which again is a game I remember fondly from playing through GameCube that, you know, to race that through as a, as a racer is just a really cool, fun environment. Uh, everyone loves cars, you know, I, I think, and there's, there's many answers to this question. Um, I think the, probably my favourite answer is that it makes it fair on the other competitors if Sonic's in a car. Um, he, he has a car, and every character in the game has a, a vehicle that's very tailored to their needs. So, you know, Sonic's car is a, a sports car with very, very dynamic styling and, you know, a very, very cool Sonic-esque vehicle, you know, it's very fast, it accelerates very fast. And who doesn't like driving fast cars? You know, Sonic enjoys that as much as we do.